Hi guys, welcome to a Web Design Tets Plus uh, quick tip. I'm Adi and today we'll talk about CSS attribute selectors. Now I'm sure you have uh, used uh, the attribute selectors before. Maybe you didn't, didn't uh, know they are called like this, but basically they allow you to select certain elements in your page based on their attribute, hence the name <laughs> attribute selectors. So there are four of them and we'll look at each one and do a kind of a live example. All right, so let's jump to CodePen. I have a basic list with four list items, uh, each having uh, no class, a single class, two classes and a single class again whose name contains a hyphen. And we'll use this markup to illustrate um, the different uh, selectors. Okay, here we have just some uh, demo styles, just some basic styles to color these, uh, these list items. So let's begin with the very first one. This is uh, the simplest one, and it allows you to select any element which has a given attribute. In my case, let's select all the list items which have a class. So I'm going to say list item class. Okay, and let's give them a background color of blue. All right, so that's the first one. As you can see, only three are selected because the first list item doesn't have a class. If I add one, regardless of its name, it will be selected as well. Okay, the second one uh, will allow us to select an element whose attribute value is exactly equal to, to a certain text. So for instance, if I want to select all the list items with the class of red, I'm going to say this list item class equals red. Okay. And let's say we'll change their background color to green. Okay. So only the first one is selected uh, because uh, this selector will match any element whose value is exactly equal. So um, if I had this, it wouldn't be equal to red because we have an extra space. Okay. Uh, next one will allow us to select an element whose uh, value is a list of space separated values. Okay, so that might seem a bit complicated, but just bear with me. If we do list item class tilde equal red, and we'll change the background to, let's say pink, is there a color pink? Yeah, there is. So if we change this to pink, uh, only two elements are selected. Uh, this one, which has a class of red, it's selected, and this one. So even though we have multiple class names, uh, by using tilde equals, tilde equal, um, this will select any element who contains red, so this one, and has uh, more classes, okay, more than one class. So if there is a, is a space, and for instance, if I put another class name, example, and we change this to example, okay, uh, only this will be selected. It doesn't matter if example is the last class name or the first class name, it makes no difference at all. Okay, and the very last one will allow us to select a list item whose class name contains a hyphen. And the value we uh, input is the very first one. 
So in other words, I'm going to say class pipe equal the class name red. Okay, and let's say background color cyan, beautiful color. So uh, this selected two elements. It selected the first one, which you know, it's natural because it starts with red and it selected the last one because it starts with red and it's followed by a hyphen. So if I want to change this to text red, okay, and I'm going to change uh, this to text, it's going to be selected. Okay, so the condition here, in short, uh, text, the value here must be followed by a hyphen in the markup, and then it's selected. All right, well, uh, that's it. Let's do a quick recap. Uh, first one selects all the elements with a class. Second one, all the elements with the class of red, whose name is exactly red. Third one selects uh, a class whose class name is example and also supports multiple class names. And the fourth one uh, selects an element whose class starts with text and then it's followed by a hyphen. All right, well, that's, uh, that's it for uh, today's quick tip. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.